Hello everyone. Welcome to today's reading time. Today I am going to tell you the fictional summary of The Lord of the Silver Bowl. It was written by Diana Stanley. The novel focuses deeply and almost exclusively on the consciousness of the central characters with powerful insight. Prince Amerigo, an impoverished and charismatic Italian nobleman, is in London for his marriage to Maggie Verver, only child of the widower Adam Verver. The fabulously wealthy American financier and art collector While there, he re-encounters Charlotte Stant, another young American and a former mistress from his days in Rome. They had met in Mrs. Asingham's drawing room. Charlotte is not wealthy, which is one reason they did not marry. Although Maggie and Charlotte have been dear friends since childhood, Maggie does not know of Charlotte and Amrigo's past relationship. Charlotte and Amrigo go shipping together for a wedding present for Maggie. They find a curiosity shop where the shopkeeper offers them an antique glittered crystal bowl. The prince declines to purchase it as he suspects it contains a hidden flaw. After Maggie has married, afraid that her father has become lonely as they had been close for years, she pursues him to propose to Charlotte who accepts Adam's proposal. Soon after the wedding, Charlotte and Amerigo are thrown together because their respective spouses seem more interested in their father-daughter relationship than in their marriages. Amerigo and Charlotte finally consummate an adulterous affair. Maggie begins to suspect the pair. She happens to go to the same shop and buys the golden bowl they had rejected. Regretting the high price he has charged her, the shopkeeper visits Maggie and confesses to overcharging. At her home, he sees photographs of Amerigo and Charlotte. He tells Maggie of the pair's shopping trip on the eve of her marriage and their in- intimate conversation in his shop. They had spoken Italian, but he understands the language. Maggie confronts Amerigo. She begins a secret campaign to separate him and Charlotte while ever revealing their affair to her father, also concealing her knowledge from Charlotte and denying any change to their friendship. She gradually pursues her father to return to America with his wife. After previously regarding Maggie as a naive, immature American, the princess seems impressed by his wife's delicate diplomacy. The novel ends with Adam and Charlotte about to depart for the United States. Amerigo says he can. Do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing.